Guys, this is part two of my rhinoplasty experience in Seoul. Just a quick reminder that my operation was organized through Seoul Cosmetic Surgery and you can find all their information on their website. She's going to remove your cake today. Okay. A little I'm scared to look at myself. Why are you zooming in? Stop it. You're making me laugh. And when I laugh, my face is stressed. What if I hate it? Yeah. 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 It's gonna hurt a little bit. Okay. We're gonna remove the split on your nose. Okay. Close your eyes. Okay. I thought I'd fast forward this bit and save you the screaming. I didn't realize they actually had to remove a stitch here, so it was a lot more uncomfortable than I anticipated. Wow. Just... Mm. Oh, you look very different. Very different? Very different isn't good. No, 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 I mean, without splint. Without the splint? <laughs> oh. You're not. You're not helping. Oh, I can smile. Mm. Thank God. Mm. This is my phone. You're not even trying to show me what I look like, so. No, it really looks different. I mean, and even I can see it look better now. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> can you see? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> A little bit of swollen. Yeah. Like, on your tip, tip. you yeah. can see the shape already. Jeez. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Good kind of crazy. Yeah. I think you can see, without me even explaining how happy I was at this point, the doctor came in afterwards. He had a little play around with my nose. I think he was trying to see, you know, if, if it healed correctly. He asked me if it was still bleeding, if it was painful, and explained that the nose would swell significantly now that the splint had been removed. Okay guys, so this is the result after splint removal. Please bear in mind it takes up to six months, maybe sometimes a year, to see the actual shape of the nose. What up, what up, what up? So it has been just under a month. Just under? Mm. Yeah, it's the 11th. I've had the surgery on the 15th, so it's been just under a month since I've had my nose done. So I wanted to show you guys where we're at, um, the difference. So I'm going to get up all up in your grill. So, hold up. Maybe the camera will focus. Okay, so you can see here they added silicone. Like I said, it's going to drop more and has dropped since my last video or the last clip I showed and then if you look from up here I kept my nostrils the same but you can see where they made the incision and they pushed silicone in like I know the medical terms but I'm not actually quite sure how they went about doing it because I'm not a surgeon I'm really I'm really happy so far with the results I am really satisfied with the fact that they've kept my ethnicity that was the the main concern for me i still wanted to look like a black lady if you are thinking of coming to korea to have plastic surgery these are the three things that i would say are the most important things so number one is research research until you're sick in the face mainly because you will find that 
Korea is saturated with plastic surgery, cosmetic surgery clinics. There's so many to choose from, um, some of which are really, really good, and some are questionable. You want doctors that are recommended, you want doctors that have experience. I think I read somewhere that in Korea you do not actually have to be a plastic surgeon, a, a trained plastic surgeon, to open a plastic surgery clinic. You just need to be a doctor in order to perform surgery. So I will double check that, but I think that is correct. Um, you want somebody who knows what they're doing, who, especially if you are of the darker variety or, or you have an ethnic nose or that kind of thing, you want somebody that knows what they are doing and is comfortable. Secondly, I would suggest a medical tourism agency such as Seoul Cosmetic Surgery just to make your life so much easier. They can navigate and communicate with the clinics and they cut out so, so much hassle, so much stuff that might there might be a miscommunication. You want to make sure that you, your doctor knows exactly what it is that you want. And if you're not fluent in Korean or you are not sure whether you're going to a clinic where the, the surgeons have ex years of experience, that's one of the best ways to eliminate that problem. They deal with, with you know, transportation, they sort out hotels, they will be there on your day of your sur surgery to when you have the consultation, you know, right up to when you leave. So in terms of making your surgery smoother and easier and a lot less hassle for you, I would suggest a medical tourism agency. Thirdly and finally, it is an individual decision. It is your face, do what you like. You will get input from friends, from families, from your mum, your dad, who will tell you that it is not a good idea, or there's some that will be supportive and there's some that won't won't be as supportive. I think, especially within the black community, we are so, um, how can I say this? We are very, we shy away from talking about stuff like rhinoplasty. I think we are more open to talking about breast surgery or our shots than we are <laughs> to talking about rhinoplasty and stuff like that. But if you think that's Beyonce's original nose, then I, I, I don't know where you've been for the past 10 years. The main purpose of this video for me was to educate people on the fact that you can have surgery done in Seoul, in an Asian country, um, and it be successful, especially on the ethnic nose. I think there's a lot of apprehension around that. I had so many questions and so many messages. Oh my God, you let Asian people touch your nose, you're brave. But, seriously? Really? Some of the best surgeons in the world work, live, reside, or have been trained in Korea in terms of plastic surgery anyway. So it would be naive of me to assume that it's something that they couldn't do. I was more concerned about being asleep during surgery, not that anybody wants to be awake during surgery, but that was my worry rather than, is he gonna do a good job? Am I gonna like it? But I will leave my personal links down in the description bar if you have any questions for me. I will leave the website and the links for Seoul Cosmetic Surgery. They have like an online inquiry form. So if you have any questions, you can shoot them a message. I will also leave a link for Kim Hyun Suk's clinic down there too. Thanks for listening. And I will be back maybe in another two, three months with an update on what it's looking like. Okay, see you guys later.